Well, back to virtual. Many congregations and places of worship, they are uh, considering it with COVID cases sweeping through the state again. WPTV News Channel 5's Sabira Rayford spoke with a Boca Raton synagogue about how it could impact their upcoming holiday season. For Rose and Sofer, B'nai Torah Congregation in Boca Raton is like a second home. Besides coming to services, there are lectures and concerts and speakers. Um, I got involved in Women's League right away. The COVID-19 pandemic changed that. And it was lonely being, you know, kind of stuck at home. B'nai Torah began offering virtual services, and for this 60-something, it made the difference. You missed that in-person connection and interaction, but actually we got to know people on Zoom. You know, we met often we had well through women's league we had we continued book club then the COVID-19 vaccination made it possible for in-person services and then we were kind of oh I think I know you from zoom <laughs> and just as she started to feel like the zoom days were behind her the numbers are are scary leaving rabbi David Steinhardt with a difficult decision ahead of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur we're going back to that place where people have to be masked we're going to ask people to respect social distancing again in ways that they weren't doing before. He says they have around 1,400 multi-generational families at the synagogue. He says going back to a virtual model could impact them financially, but he's optimistic congregates will continue to show their support. So at this point, we're hoping that we will be open. What the protocols are, are have yet to be determined. We'll see depending on the virus. Reporting in Boca Raton, Sabir Rayford, WPTV News Channel 5. New this 